All righty, we're going to go over everything new at Canada's Wonderland in 2021, and boy, is there a lot of information. We scoured this park looking for every little detail that possibly could be new. And obviously, the first one is Beagle's Brigade. This is a new family kid flat ride that Canada's Wonderland built after 2019 for the 2020 season, but it was delayed till 2021 for obvious reasons. It is actually a really adorable ride. <laughs> I mean, obviously I wouldn't ride this thing as I'm too old and too large, but it is definitely adorable and the area that they built around it is absolutely stunning. I love it. It's definitely fits Wonderland's theme really well. And as you can see on the expressions, the families and the kids are loving it. So that's just excellent um, to hear. Obviously, we're going to go over even some COVID details, mask policies and all that in this video. But this is the new kids area. There's actually a lot of upgrades that they did in Planet Snoopy as well. All the buildings got fresh new coat of paint. I don't know if you guys noticed it walking through this area, but if you look closely, the buildings got fresh coat of paint, um, a lot of work done to them. They absolutely look amazing. And uh, I know a lot of people sometimes overlook this, but it's absolutely amazing. One of my favorite things that we learned yesterday is you can now walk around Canada's Wonderland in their midways as long as it's socially distanced without a mask. That became really handy today. It was extremely hot with the Humid X. I think we got up to like 41 or 39, one of the two. And it was just really awesome to be able to take off your mask and walk around. It helped with the, uh, the comfort. Um, there were water stations, so you can bring your own water bottle and you can fill up your water bottle at a water bottle station. So that's a little tidbit of information for any families or anyone. Definitely bring some stainless steel water bottles into the park because you're going to need them. It's hot. Um, and it's a definitely a good way to cool off. And for anyone that's looking for AC, you're going to want to go to Starbucks on International Street. They are blasting their AC and you can just go in there, wait in line to get your beverage, then wait the 10 minutes to pick up your beverage. It was absolutely a delight to be able to wait there. Boo Blasters on Boo Hill has gotten uh, an upgrade to its facade. Um, I think that's the right word. If it's not, just drag me in the comments uh, and some fresh coat of paint as well. So it's looking absolutely stunning. It seems like this area was Cedar Fair's focus because there is a lot of work. In fact, we noticed standing here that something got completely retracked in this area. And you're going to be a little shocked by it. Um, but we had to sit there and stare at it for a while until we realized it was completely redone. But um, the Swan Boat Ride... Uh, <laughs> in this area got completely uh, new track and a new system um, installed, which we'll show you in a second. But Boo Blasters is actually looking really, really fresh with this awesome coat of paint and the new facade. But yes, as you can tell, this is a brand new, it's, it looks like it's got even new supports um, and new metal. It's shiny. You can really tell when you're there. It's hard to tell in the video, but you notice it from really far away. I was like, wait, has it always looked like that? And we sat there and stared, but yeah, it's looking really awesome. Definitely a lot of little upgrades that they've done around the park, as you're going to see in this video. And um, as you're also going to see, I think this is going to be uploaded around the same time as the construction update um, for Canada's Wonderland's 2022 edition. Um, so I'm super excited to talk about that with you guys as well, because I think a lot of people are going to be really happy about um, what I think it's most likely going to be. But yeah, there's a lot going on at Canada's Wonderland in terms of upgrades. And I was even shocked to uh, figure out what was coming um, in 2022. I thought that maybe our additions would be postponed a little bit. But there is entertainment at the park, by the way. Snoopy does this little symphony at the front gate. There's this cute little show by Beagle's Brigade. And uh, there's going to be the High Divers, I believe, on weekends, if I'm not mistaken, or it's going to start a little later. Um, there's this new Jester's Courtyard store. Nothing special at all, very basic, very bland, um, but uh, there's a new merch store. It wasn't quite finished, All the Rage. Um, it's located next to Extreme Sky Flyer. That's going to have 40th anniversary merch in there that I heard is going to look really cool. Um, Riptide got some new seat backings and a new paint, coats of paint, um, and they were just testing it today, getting it ready. Uh, so it should be open sometime soon, so that's super exciting. But yeah, it's looking really good, to be honest. Again, I would have liked to see them fit it into the Medfair area a little better. They had this chance right now to work on it and make it uh, maybe a little more Medfair themed and... 
I I don't know. I, I just wish they took this opportunity when they took it apart to replace the bearings and all that, that they were working uh, on <laughs> getting it to fit into the area a little better, but they didn't take the opportunity. That's okay. Maybe sometime in the future, maybe this ride isn't here to stay. Who knows? Who absolutely knows? Um, nonetheless, if you are looking at rides, we're hearing Vortex and Leviathan are absolutely hauling. Um, so definitely check out those rides when you're there. This is a cute little sugar and spice shack. Um, that you can get cupcakes, I believe, or other snacks soon. Uh, they have new poutines at Canada's Wonderland uh, just behind us in that red building. Um, you can get like butter chicken, just your basic poutine, tater tot poutine, um, even uh, what do you call those fries? <laughs> wow. Um, you can get sweet sweet fries, but sweet potato fries, uh, poutine. So super cool. The park's also going to have an impossible burger. Uh, we enjoyed the poutine. So, uh, definitely a huge, uh, yes from us on the poutine. Um, but yeah, even on international show place, they did some re-roofing and coloring on international show place, not international show place, international street, um, at front gate. As you can tell, there's a new goldish brown, uh, roofing up there. So the park definitely did a lot of work over the last year and a half. Um, there's obviously more to go over. Again, you can walk around the park without your masks. Um, definitely get fast lane if you can, or you have the money to, if not plan ahead, um, arrive at your proper time and plan the rides you want to do start off with the smaller rides because everyone heads for leviathan yukon and behemoth so maybe head to like you know flight deck vortex and all that first and then do the big ones be patient be ready to wait and bring water bottles that you can refill in the park you are going to need that and uh definitely patience is the biggest word i can give you uh for advice uh it's definitely very unique uh different experience than what we're used to longer lines even though the park's absolutely dead anyways thank you so much for watching our video today we have more videos coming out um this is everything that's new so far in 2021 obviously there's probably going to be more but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this update thanks so much for watching hopefully you had an amazing visit and if you didn't hopefully this video helps you plan your visit have a good one guys ask below any questions if i didn't answer anything bye